Have you ever found yourself suddenly feeling happy just by hearing one of your favorite songs? Or maybe you felt sad all day, but the moment you turned on some music, your mood completely changed. Today, I'm going to reveal the science behind how music can actually heal your emotions. And trust me, what you're about to discover will make you see music in a whole new light. Get ready, because some of these facts will make you go wow again and again. The brain lights up when you listen to music. Did you know that when you listen to music, your brain doesn't just use one or two areas, it almost lights up the entire brain at once. According to research from McGill University, music activates the brain's reward system, the same system that addictive substances affect. But here's the difference. Music is completely safe and brings countless benefits. So what's the magic behind it? When we listen to music, the brain releases dopamine, the happiness hormone, serotonin, a natural antidepressant, and oxytocin, the love hormone. In fact, your brain is literally creating its own medicine to heal itself. But how can music be so powerful? The answer lies in the emotional time machine. Music works like a real emotional time machine. A study from the University of California found that the brain connects music with memories and emotions more powerfully than any other sense. When you hear a song from your childhood, your hippocampus, the memory center, instantly wakes up and brings back the emotions of the past. That's why a song can make you cry your heart out or feel as happy as during a festival. Here's a shocking fact. Scientists have discovered that music can restore memories in Alzheimer's patients with a success rate of up to 89%. That's a result many expensive medicines can't even achieve. Maybe that's why every time we hear an old school song, we suddenly feel young again and maybe tempted to text our old crush. Let the past be a beautiful source of energy one that helps you move forward with more confidence and happiness every day. If you're enjoying what I've shared, don't forget to hit like to support me. And remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss other amazing and inspiring videos. Now, let's keep exploring the wonders of music. Music also has another superpower that very few people know about, the Music Doctor. Healing for real. You're not going to believe this. Music has officially been recognized as a medical treatment called music therapy. At Johns Hopkins Hospital, doctors use music to relieve pain, sometimes more effectively than painkillers, lower blood pressure and reduce stress, improve sleep quality for insomnia patients help treat depression with results similar to mild antidepressants. An incredible finding. Patients who listened to Mozart for just 10 minutes experienced pain relief equal to taking one painkiller and with zero side effects. But here's the catch. Not every kind of music has the same healing effect. So which type of music heals best? the music prescription for every emotion. This is the super fascinating part I really want to share. Scientists have discovered the music formula for each emotional state. When you're stressed, slow classical music, 60 to 80 beats per minute. Nature sounds blended with soft background music, piano solos or gentle acoustic guitar. When you're sad, music with rising melodies, uplifting pop songs with encouraging lyrics, upbeat tempo between 120 to 140 beats per minute, when you need focus, instrumental music, no lyrics, lo-fi or ambient tracks, soft relaxing background music, avoid songs with vocals, they split your focus, the Spotify secret, the platform analyzed billions of data points, and found that people listen to sad music 300% more when it rains, and happy music 200% more when it's sunny. 
Our brains literally synchronize with the weather, and that's why after a breakup we dive into sad songs and just cry it out. Our brains need to process emotions, and music is the perfect software for that. There's one more special thing, music positively changes the brain. Get ready, this will blow your mind. A Harvard study revealed that regular listening can physically reshape your brain in positive ways. Specifically, enlarges the brain area that processes emotions, expands connections between the two hemispheres, improves the brain's ability to create new neural connections. An incredible number, just 30 minutes of music per day for eight weeks creates measurable positive brain changes seen on MRI scans. This means music doesn't just heal temporarily, it rewires your brain to be happier long term. The social medicine. Music has another superpower, healing loneliness. When we listen to music together, even just sitting side by side with headphones, our brains release oxytocin, the bonding hormone. According to Oxford University studies, singing karaoke together increases feelings of connection by 200%. Group listening reduces cortisol, the stress hormone, more effectively than listening alone. Concerts boost the feeling of belonging to a community. Fun fact, that's why we feel refreshed after a concert, even with ringing ears. Our brains just bathed in happy hormones. And finally, the most important thing you need to know, how to use music for effective emotional healing. This is a practical guide I've personally studied and successfully applied. Morning. Listen to energetic positive music. Choose tempos between 120 to 140 beats per minute to wake up your brain. Duration, 15 to 20 minutes. Afternoon, play focus enhancing music if you're working, or relaxing tracks if you need to rest. Duration, 30 to 45 minutes. Evening, 8 to 10 p.m. Listen to slow, soothing music to prepare for sleep. Gradually lower the volume over time. Duration, 20 to 30 minutes. Golden rule, don't play music too loud. The optimal volume is 60 to 70% of the maximum level. This protects your ears and enhances the healing effect. Final tip. Create separate playlists for each emotion. When you're sad, don't stay with sad songs for too long. Gradually switch to more uplifting tracks to guide your emotions in a positive direction. You'll be amazed how much lighter and happier you feel. Let music lead your soul to soar with melodies that make your heart smile. Wow! I've just shared seven scientific secrets about how music heals emotions. From releasing happiness hormones to reshaping the brain, music truly is a magical medicine. Now I want to ask you, do you listen to music for healing or just for fun? And what kind of music makes you happiest? Share in the comments. I'd love to know. Don't forget to like if you found this video helpful. Subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss the next one. Why smiling helps you live longer. Another fascinating topic. Subscribe now to support the channel. Thank you so much.